Hi guys, hope you well. Um, so today I'm going to teach on depreciation. Depreciation means the uh, reduction in the value um, of an asset, um, your your parents' vehicles, and uh, uh, they they reduce value over years. Uh, and that value that they reduce, or the the value of the car that gets reduced is called wear and tear, which is the same thing as depreciation. Uh, depreciation, we depreciate assets. So what we're saying as accountants is that um, the asset will not be the same value in a year from now and two years from now. It should be reduced. And so we make, uh, we give it a percentage that we assume that the asset will be reduced. But we are governed by, um, the percentages are given to us by, um, uh, SARS, uh, they, they, they advise in that, and also South African Institute for Chartered Accountants, SICA. So, uh, that's not a problem. So there are two methods with which we depreciate assets. Remember, some of the assets that get depreciated are vehicles, equipment, computers, machinery, furniture. And there are two methods with which we depreciate, um, it's, one is the cost method. Uh, the cost method is uh, straightforward. You just take the cost of the asset times it by the rate of the depreciation, which they'll give it to you. The second method is called diminishing balance method. This is a little bit tricky. It's the cost of the asset. The cost of the asset minus accumulated depreciation times the rate. Accumulated depreciation is a depreciation of that particular asset over the years so if the asset was bought in 2016 and we are now 2020 over the years it would have depreciated maybe 10,000 a year by now it would have depreciated 40,000 that 40,000 is called accumulated depreciation the accumulation of the depreciation every year then when you calculate this year's for 10,000 it will then become 40,000 at the beginning of the year plus this year's 10,000 50,000 over at the end of the year. Uh, I want to do an example and I think this becomes more easier when you do an example and uh, it's just so much easier steps on how to post to the ledger accounts. Guys, everything is here. I'm going to do the example and it'll be a more practical way. There's a ledger account. There's three accounts, asset, accumulated depreciation and depreciation. Depreciation is an expense. Accumulated depreciation is a negative asset. So it has a credit balance. And um, I'll show you everything, how to do your activities. I'm with the, the video is going to be based on this one here now. And uh, I'll try to do a video for the second one, uh, which is based on this activity. So there are no uh, work from your textbook. It's going to be on your slide. And I've given you the answer books as well. So I'm going to do this some something similar to this. Uh, and uh, it's right here. Uh, there's one here, uh, general ledger from MAPA traders. We've got about 12 minutes. Try and do it as quick as possible. Now, the first step that you need to do, and I'll put steps of how you do it, is bring in your opening balances for uh, these stuff here. Now, vehicles, I've got the ledger account. Vehicles is an asset, so it has a debit balance. So I'm going to go there, um, 2014, um, and then June uh, 1st, which is given to me, balance, uh, BD. You're only going to do ledger accounts for this section, so uh, it's it's not a problem at all. Uh, and then the balance, 105,000. So it goes quick as possible, so um, that uh, you know we don't waste too much of time. All right. Um, all right. And then uh, then we enter the uh, balance for accumulated depreciation. There's a tier, 45,000. I said to you, accumulated is a negative asset, so it has a credit balance. The reason it's a negative asset is because it, it's depreciation. It reduces the value of an asset. So that's why it's a negative asset. And uh, 2014, um, June, uh, first balance. Uh, the, the, the long part is only the calculation of the depreciation, which uh, I am going to show you. Um, that's 45,000. Um, 45,000. Right, so there are three accounts that we're going to do. Uh, is these three depreciation at expense? So there's no um, there's no balance there, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, so uh, let, let's go through the actual question and see what they say. So um, th this is what the scenarios are working around. 
purchase a new vehicle so they purchased a new this is the amount of vehicles that were in the business at the beginning of the year it could be one vehicle worth 105 and this is the amount of the depreciation that accumulated over the years now they purchase a new vehicle from Cordoba Motors on 1st December 2014. Now guys, listen carefully. I'm going to teach you about financial year end. This business, this business here, its financial year end uh, uh, is on the, it'll say, do the general ledger accounts for MAPA traders on 31st May. That is our financial year end. You need to get used to understanding what these uh, financial year end is. A financial year is 12 months. So if the year end is 31st May 2015 uh, and uh, 31st of May 2015, uh, then it means that the start date of this particular financial year uh, is uh, the start date would have been the previous year because it's 12 months. It'll be uh, first of uh, uh, 12 months will be 1st of June 2014 and if you work from 1st of June 2014 all the way to 31st of May so I always tell learners next day next next so you, uh, 31st next day is first uh, next month and previous year that's how we get first of the 6 2014 now what's important here is this this uh, uh, it, the year end is that date that means the last day of the financial year we must record all transactions up until this day now why is this important because this vehicle was purchased on the 1st December 2014 and they say the depreciation on vehicles is calculated according to diminishing balance method diminishing balance method we say cost minus uh, accumulated depreciation which if you go back here cost minus accumulated and you times the rate now listen carefully this is very important I'm going to take you now to the calculations and how we calculate depreciation uh, and stuff like that so uh, this is the method you must show it like this uh, I prefer it uh, that way uh, so there's a chair this is how it should be the cost uh, the accumulated, you write it down, method, how many months, the rate, and you calculate. So this video might continue on to another one. Or might, it might have two videos for this particular. Okay, so you'll notice I already put the amount. So this is how you do calculation for depreciation. Now, old means the ones that were in existence from your opening balance. That is old vehicles. And then you put for you have to calculate for the new vehicle. So there's the format here. The cost for the old is that, and the cost for the new. I put the accumulated for the old, which came from here. Once you get the calculations right, everything becomes easy. There's no accumulated for a new because it just came into existence in the business. Method diminishing balance according to the question. Now months. Months means was it if it's new you're going to put how many months is it in existence from the date it was purchased to year end remember our year end is uh, uh, uh 31st of may 2015 it was purchased uh it was purchased on uh uh if i look clearly it was purchased on um 1st december so we count how many months we need to calculate depreciation december january february that's three months, four months, March, five months, April, six months, May. So that's up until 31st of May, it's six months. So in other words, what we're saying is, uh, and, I, and I had this uh, somewhere here, it was a start date. So that isn't really important for now. It was purchased, this vehicle was purchased 1st December 2014. Now watch this. 1st December 2014 to year end is six months and that's how we will end up with um, uh, six months in our calculator. Six out of 12. That's the only difficult part. Now calculating the depreciation. Watch carefully. Diminishing balance method cost minus accumulated equal to cost 105,000 minus 
45 now that is 60 then the, the the calculation says cost minus accumulated times the rate so the rate is 20 percent so it'll be 60 so 60,000 equal to uh, 60,000 times the rate of 20 percent so for old the depreciation for the year is 12,000 now for the new slightly tricky there, but there's no accumulated depreciation so it's it's okay 80,000 you can say minus zero but you don't have to say minus zero because there is no accumulated because it's new then you say times 20 percent times six over 12 months six out of 12 put it 8,000 so the total depreciation for vehicles is 12,000 plus 8,000 20,000 all right we're done so all we're going to do is go to our ledger accounts very quickly and enter the depreciation when you enter that depreciation calculation it goes on the credit side and you'll put 28 but you got to put the last year of the year so 2015 uh oh, sorry may so it's may 31st uh may 31st because this financial year and is 31st may you write depreciation uh and put their gj and that 20,000 which you calculated and uh this to stretch it a bit there and got only a few minutes left and this account is done so also the vehicle that you purchased please enter it uh 2014 december it doesn't have to be in red but i just got it in red uh 2014 december so i'm going to enter these things quick all right so in the vehicles i've got here 2014 the date it was purchased credit is controlled because they said it was purchased on credit and you have to put it in vehicles and uh, it should be 75,000 um, 75 because the number of vehicles increased in the business so we're balancing this account uh, add them up this here comes to uh, 180,000 and then 180,000 and uh, all right, so then we totally at 180,000. This side doesn't have anything, so the balance CD is going to be 180,000. Bring down the new month's balance 180. Straightforward. Uh, this we already did earlier. Uh, we calculated the depreciation. Now you balance this account. Look, you're going to balance the account, so uh, it's there's no amount on the debit side. Uh, so what we're going to I'm copying and pasting because it's much more easier for me. Uh, and it's obviously going to be 2015 May 31st uh, because CD and uh, this is going to be 65,000 uh, because uh, we don't have that amount on this side 65,000 and then I'll bring down the new month's balance you can see it's a little bit uh, messed up you, are, you guys are going to find it slightly you know different in the beginning because it's something new just follow what I'm doing here and uh, you won't have a problem uh, and this will be BD uh, 65,000 there's just one more thing that we have to do uh, is uh, the depreciation account that is very straightforward all you do is you take this amount 20,000 and you enter it there 20,000 and uh, and you put the same date here the year end date but you can't write uh, uh, depreciation you have to write uh, accumulated all right depreciation is straightforward um, it's an easy one that's a last one account account you'll do just take the depreciation from there it's on the credit side there so it'll go on the debit side of depreciation and you write accumulated depreciation vehicles because you're taking it from that account and uh, 20,000 that's a total depreciation that you calculated according to this uh, and it goes under um, depreciation so yeah that's it um, you don't have to total the account you leave it as it is uh, and that's it simple don't forget when you purchase an asset go on the debit side uh, if you sell an asset it goes on the credit side of the asset because it reduces uh, but that will do next year so yes you will find it there and then a little bit challenging but that's all you have to do uh, bring in the depreciation bring in the new asset balance the account and then transfer the depreciation to uh, uh, the actual depreciation account so I hope you enjoyed it I'm going to do another video for the second activity which will also make things much more easier for you God bless you take care